Today, we're diving into three insane stories of wrongful imprisonment abroad. These stories offer an eerie reminder of the unknown possibilities that exist when traveling internationally. Number three, Danny Finster. Danny Finster is an American journalist who found himself in a nightmare scenario when he was imprisoned in Myanmar. Danny Finster was working as a journalist in Myanmar, covering the country's political turmoil and human rights issues, when in May 2021, he was arrested at the airport while trying to leave the country. His detention shocked the international community, sparking concerns about press freedom. For months and months, Danny's family and colleagues tirelessly campaigned for his release, and they were able to rally support from human rights organizations, journalists, and diplomats and their efforts were rewarded when, in November 2021, Danny was finally set free. But Danny's imprisonment was not an isolated incident. This helped shed light on the fractured legal system in Myanmar under current military rule. Human rights groups have reported crackdowns on lawyers and the abuse of the legal system by Myanmar's military rulers. The situation has raised concerns about due process, fair trials, and the protection of basic human rights. Amid this tumultuous environment, Danny's release was made possible through the collective efforts of various individuals and organizations, including the United States government, advocacy groups, and diplomatic channels. Their solidarity helped keep his story in the public eye and put pressure on the authorities to act. Danny's story serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of press freedom and the risks journalists face while reporting from countries with restricted media environments. It also underscores the significance of international collaboration and support in safeguarding the rights of journalists. Today, Danny Finster is a symbol of resilience and hope, standing as a testament to the indomitable spirit of journalists around the world. His release is a victory not only for him, but for all those who fight for truth, justice, and freedom of the press. Number two, Brittany Griner. You've probably heard this story in the news recently. Brittany Griner, the basketball sensation who encountered unexpected challenges during her time in Russia. Her story is truly one of resilience, courage, and the pursuit of justice. Brittany Griner is renowned for her exceptional skills and towering presence on the basketball court. She made headlines when she ventured to Russia to play for a professional team, but little did she know that her journey would take an unexpected turn. As Brittany showcased her extraordinary talent and led her team to victory, she faced an ordeal that sent shockwaves through the basketball world. An unexpected drug charge was levied against her in attempts to shatter the image of the dedicated athlete that fans had come to admire. This shocking turn of events left everyone perplexed. How could such a decorated athlete, known for her commitment to the game, find herself entangled in such a case? The accusation seemed incongruous with Britney's character and achievements. Amid the confusion and disbelief, Britney remained steadfast resolute in her claim of innocence. The unexpected drug charge became the catalyst for a high-stakes legal battle, testing not only her athletic prowess, but her resilience in the face of adversity. Navigating the intricacies of the Russian legal system, Brittany fought tooth and nail to clear her name. The unexpected nature of the drug charge made her determination to seek justice all more compelling. Throughout this challenging period, Brittany's unwavering commitment to truth and her unyielding spirit resonated with fans worldwide. The unexpected nature of the drug charge made her journey all the more poignant as she battled not only legal complexities but the perceptions and doubts surrounding her case. In the end, Brittany emerged triumphant. Brittany Griner's journey in Russia is a story of resilience, courage, and the unwavering pursuit of justice in the face of unexpected adversity. Her remarkable strength and determination remind us that even when faced with unexpected challenges, we can rise above and come out stronger. Number 1. Otto Warmbier now, you've probably heard the story of Otto Warmbier, but new information that has recently come to light makes this case even more disturbing. Just to give you a bit of a backstory, Otto Warmbier was, by all accounts, a bright student studying economics at the University of Virginia, when in 2016, he would embark on a fascinating adventure. He decided he would visit the most isolated country on Earth. 
North Korea. He went as part of a tour group that aimed to show people extreme places around the world. Little did he know that this journey would take a dark and tragic turn. During his stay, Otto found himself in the center of an international situation. He was arrested by North Korean authorities on charges of trying to steal a propaganda poster from his hotel. The situation escalated extremely quickly. He was accused of hostile acts against the state and handed a severe sentence of 15 years of hard labor. The news of Otto's arrest spread like wildfire, capturing worldwide attention. People were deeply concerned about his well-being, none more than his parents Fred and Sidney Warmbier, as they were thrust into the center of all of this. The United States government, along with his parents and former President Barack Obama, made heartfelt efforts to secure his release, but unfortunately Unfortunately, their endeavors fell short. Otto Warmbier's story is a somber reminder of the risks associated with international travel and the complex dynamics of diplomatic relations. Finally, after more than a year in captivity, Otto Warmbier was freed in June 2017. However, the homecoming was anything but joyous. Otto was in a devastating condition, unresponsive and barely awake. Medical examinations revealed shocking news severe brain damage. It was a heart-wrenching blow. Tragically, within a week of returning to the United States, Otto Warmbier passed away at just 22 years old. The case behind Otto's condition remains a mystery. The North Korean government claimed that he had fallen into a coma due to botulism, a type of food poisoning and subsequent administration of a sleeping pill. Otto's parents firmly believed that their son had been tortured during his time in captivity. A recent interview with a former North Korean spy would prove their suspicion was probably right. In an interview with Asian Boss, the former spy says he was very familiar with the Warmbier case. He explained that this was the first time something like this had happened. The state classified Otto as a foreign spy. This is a common label for anyone that doesn't align with the state's views. He even explained the brutal torture methods that North Koreans favored. The country likely knew very soon that Otto was not indeed a spy, but that in order to save face, the country continued its claims. This imprisonment of foreigners, specifically an American, is North Korean's way of getting the US to come to the table, using him as a bargaining chip. This case strained the already tense relations with the United States and North Korea, and as a result, the US government imposed travel restrictions for Americans visiting North Korea, and it served as a wake-up call for people to be cautious while traveling to politically volatile regions. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much.